Magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. Ako po si Jeffrey Bungkin, isang Filipino scientist at founder ng The Filipino Science Homepage. Gusto po sana namin gamitin ang ating pahina para po magbigay ng inspirasyon sa inyo, aming mga guro at sa ating mga minamahal na mga mag-aaral sa pamamagitan ng pagbabahagi ng buhay ng ating mga Filipino scientists dito man sa itong bansa at maging nasa Pilipinas. At ang una po namin tampok ay ang kwento ng isang Filipino scientist na nasa estado ng Georgia. Siya po ngayon ay nagtatrabaho sa isang kumpanya na nagmamanufacture ng hand sanitizer. So napakahalaga po na kanyang papel na ginagawa pa sa panahon ng corona virus pandemic. Ipinakikilala po namin sa inyo si Dr. Dindy Yu Boyles. Hi everyone out there. Thank you for the opportunity, Dr. Bunking, to be featured here at Filipino Science Hubs. My name is Dindy Boyles. I am a chemist by training got my bachelor's degree in chemistry from the University of the Philippines in Los Baños and I got my doctorate degree from the University of Houston. My little companion here is Cesium. She's our little dog. She's multi-poo and a multi-poo and her name was from our um, the detector I worked on during my graduate school. Say hi everyone! Dindi, tell us something about your work. I currently work at a startup biotech company here in Georgia, United States. We make biopolymers for pharmaceuticals and oil and gas applications. I manage the chemistry and microbiology labs, and I also manage quality assurance. Outside work, I uh, volunteer at the church local church here, so I play with a music band almost every single week, and um, I play the guitar and the keyboards. Dindi, could you share some of your highs and lows as a Filipina in the sciences? Some of the challenges I faced were uh, in college. Um, my family went through a difficult financial situation, so there were uh, plenty of times when I couldn't buy books or it was uh, challenging for me to know what, where to get food from. So those were the moments that um, were, were really, really challenging. Um, but thankfully, we, uh, we overcame that uh, season of life. So um, also during grad school, um, there were times when I just wanted to give up because the my research work was just not working um, and there were doubts uh, as to if, if I could, if I could finish the degree and thankfully I was able to do it by the help of my uh, colleagues and of course my uh, grad school advisor. Some of the highs uh, in pursuing a career in the sciences were when I got accepted. Um, to University of the Philippines, España, which was a really big deal at that time. And uh, I also got into the graduate school program at the University of Houston, along with uh, uh, several Cup of Lions at that time, we were like 10 or 9 uh, in our batch, who got accepted into the program. And I also was able to teach at uh, Louisiana State University in Alexandria as an assistant professor for a couple of years. So I uh, really enjoyed my time there because uh, teaching is my number one passion. Who are the teachers who inspired you to pursue a career in the sciences? Some of the professors who fostered my, uh, my passion in the sciences are Dr. J. Revelleza, uh, Dr. Nipales, Dr. Peralta, and of course Dr. E.J. Del Rosario. Um, they are all excellent in their field. They were they were expert, um, and they also had a positive approach in um, teaching the courses. So I really admire them, and they really inspired me to um, get my degree in chemistry. My inspiration for pursuing a career in the sciences was Mrs. Norma McGuad. She was my chemistry and physics teacher in high school. She taught the courses excellently and passionately. So thank you, Mom Learns, for um, sharing your knowledge and teaching so excellently. I am where I am right now because of you. 
to all our science teachers, thank you for everything that you do. Uh, you probably have no clue how much of an impact you have on your students, but I would say I'm a product of your hard work, your excellence, and your passion. So thank you for everything that you do. I guess my encouragement is for you, um, for every one of us, because I'm also a teacher, um, to never stop learning and just uh, keep going. As long as you're passion, you have passion in what you do, uh, keep at it. Do not give up even during these difficult times. Um, do not be intimidated by you know, different ways or new ways of teaching. Because like I said, you are, um, you have a big impact to the younger generation. So uh, thank you for all that you do. Um, keep up the good work. To our science uh, students, uh, keep up the good work. I am so very proud of you. Thank you for choosing this path. Um, you are the next generation of scientists, so uh, don't give up. Um, stay curious and always ask questions.